Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuang. Today, let's draw the forelimbs of Taurosaurus. The forelimbs of Taurosaurus were shaped like those of typical Ceratopsians. It had five toes on each forelimb, the first three of which, all weight, together forming a hoof, and the other two lightly touched the ground or were off the ground, as the model shows. Note that the two forelimbs of Taurosaurus did not stretch forward, but formed a splayed shape, similar to what the model shows. Although its forelimbs looked very sturdy, they were hollowed out structures, and there were no pads under to support its forelimbs. Now let's draw the forelimbs of Taurosaurus. The forelimbs of Taurosaurus were very sturdy. Its upper arms were long, Quadrupeds generally have sturdy triceps, but not very developed biceps, just the opposite to humans. Let's draw some folds between its upper arm and forearm. At this position, we draw its elbow. We'll draw the Taurosaurus as it was stepping forward. This is equivalent to the position of a human wrist. Let's draw some tiny muscles on the outside and then its fingers. The metacarpal bones of Taurosaurus were very short, forming a square, a position equivalent to the human palm. It had five fingers on each forelimb, of which the first three were used to walk, and they were developed. Equivalent to the human thumb, index finger and middle finger. Its index finger was comparatively long, with the biggest hoof-shaped nail on it. The other two fingers were vestigial. We can draw some folds at the wrist. Like Triceratops, the fingers of Taurosaurus did not stretch forward when they touched the ground, but stretched outward, forming a splayed shape. We can show that, when drawing its right foreleg touching the ground, We can draw its right foot stepping on the ground. From this angle, you can see that this is its thumb, followed by its index finger. We can draw the pad under the thumb squeezed. Without pad support underneath, the other fingers simply formed a shape like a horseshoe. We can show this when drawing its right forelimb. As for the left side, we can draw the them nearly touching the ground. Good like this, we've finished drawing the forelimbs of Taurosaurus.